Welcome back. Hey, 44, you're watching BT Vancouver on a smoky, hazy Tuesday. Well, as we told you yesterday, the cable at the iconic Sea to Sky gondola has been cut for a second time, just one year after the cables were deliberately cut. Joining us now with more reaction on this is Karen Elliott, mayor of Squamish. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. So first off, very sorry to hear about this happening again. Huge blow to the company and the town. What was your reaction when you heard this happened yesterday? You know, I was stunned. And as every mayor knows, you don't want to start your day with a call from your chief of police um, before you're even in the office. So it was such bad news. I was, I, it was speechless. And um, my first call out was to Kirby Brown, the general manager of the gondola to ask how everyone was doing and, and how the city could support them in the days ahead. And we know this is the second time this has happened. The first one happened in August of 2019 when the cables were deliberately cut. That is still an active investigation. And we also know that this attraction applies or generates rather a lot of revenue for the town. How much has the town suffered because of this? Well, it's hard to say at this time. After the last incident, our community really pulled together. We, we held job fairs to try and place the employees that were out of work. And, um, and the gondola stayed really engaged uh, in our tourism economy. They hosted events at their base. They, they, you know, they tried to sort of go on as normal without um, using the top of the gondola. And so I think, you know, the impact simply because of COVID this year is less. There are less staff that were employed over the summer. So the, the job losses will be less. Um, there were less events uh, planned or smaller events planned. So the consequences don't feel quite as large. But we will be sitting down with Tourism Squamish and the Chamber in the coming days to understand what this means for the winter season, which was already going to be tough for our tourism operators. And without the draw of the gondola, of course, we have questions about what that might mean. And we know the general manager spoke briefly about this yesterday. What do you think needs to be done in terms of extra security to ensure this doesn't happen again? I know that Kirby and his team are, are feeling this one. And, uh, you know, I was at the base yesterday. You could see it in their eyes that this is really, it hurts. And, but I also heard their determination and they already have a new cable ordered. Um, and they know they're going to have to add extra security. After the last event, they had a world-class security system uh, put in place. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Uh, they'll have to do more, and that probably means physical barriers to the towers this time. But what I am really hopeful about is that the added security surveillance will provide some additional clues for the RCMP. Okay, that's good to hear. So we know the GM and workers at the company are optimistic. What are you hearing from people who live in Squamish? Are they optimistic, you know, that the town will recover from this? Yeah, I am, and it's really interesting after the last event, we, we couldn't see the future. We, we heard that the gondola wanted to rebuild and they did it so quickly. They were open by Valentine's Day uh, on this year in 2020. So we actually have some history to go by now. We know how hard this team works. Uh, we know their ability to uh, put up a new cable, get the cars ordered and, and back on the line and reopen um, and provide a lot of confidence to their visitors that, uh, that they can safely ride up and enjoy the gondola again. So I'm really confident that that's gonna happen again this time. Dedication and perseverance usually pays off. Mayor Elliott, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for checking in with us. That is the mayor of Squamish, Karen Elliott. We will post this interview online. 848 now on 